Well, welcome everybody. If you woke up like me and realized something was a little bit different and maybe the world didn't feel like it was burning down, um, that was because of Facebook with their new ban on news uh, and also news sources. Now, it's a good thing, it's a bad thing, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Um, there are some websites that are questionable about why they're being taken down. Uh, Harvey Norman is one of them, not like we really need it anyway, but Harvey Norman information has been wiped, so that's interesting. Uh, a day like today where it's raining, we kind of want to know what's going on with the weather. I guess we can look outside, well the bomb site has been taken down. Um, and then unfortunately, you know, actual services pages, domestic violence and, the, and such have been taken down as well. So look, no matter which way you look at it, um, there is some good parts about it and there's also some bad parts about it. But what I want to talk about is because I've had some frantic people sending me some messages this morning going, what the hell is going to happen with real estate marketing? Um, and pretty much I just want to explain that nothing with us now, if you're working with us or um, uh, listed with us or about to list with us, nothing changes because we don't use any of these sites to actually promote your properties in the sense of marketing wise on Facebook. We retarget, uh, we schedule, we do a lot of different things ourselves. We do everything ourselves. We don't use a company to do so. But if you are working and like someone sent me today, they sent me a message and sent me a link to the agent's page. If you're working with an agent that just shares the link from realestate.com, and that's it. Well, you probably weren't going to get much out of social media anyway, but that stuff is just going to disappear. It's no longer going to exist. Um, and there are actual other companies out there that use your money. So, you know, $500, $600 to use these actual packages. Well, they're no longer going to exist as well because they come from news sites. So, if you're not using an agent who's actually retargeting and doing the marketing themselves, uh, you are going to be in a position it's not that great at the end of the day because the promotion is either not gonna happen, it's gonna be very limited, it's only gonna be on certain pages, it's definitely not gonna be on Facebook where we get 80% of our social media campaign and um, inquiries come from. Um, so yeah, so if you are talking to an agent, make sure you have a chat to them and make sure you have a, ask them how are they actually marketing the property through Facebook and ask them are they retargeting themselves and if they say yes, go okay cool, can you explain that to me? If they freeze, they're lying to you uh, if they go, oh, well, what we do is we use this system and blah, 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 they're paying an outside source, which could be affected by this. So anyways, as I said, however you look at this, it could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. I actually think it's an amazing thing for us in real estate. I know it's going to affect a lot of people in other ways, but in real estate, for agents like ourselves who know how to market, it's actually freed up that page. There's a lot more marketing I can do now. I can get your property in a ton more eyeballs uh, to in front of a ton more eyeballs in front of more buyers than before, and so I'm super excited about that. Not as excited, I just can't quickly flick and check the weather. But anyways, it is what it is. If you have any questions about this, send me a message or give me a call or whatever you need to do. I'm happy to help out where I can.